<laughs> it is no longer enough in our country just to look at these brave heroes. They cannot be the only ones that do the tough things. We as individuals, if we want our country to survive, we must begin now to look at our own selves. We must be individuals of faith, individuals of hope, and individuals of charity. When I first put this together in my head, I thought it was supposed to be political, and I had to announce for some reason, I went down to Florida and I just felt I had to look people in the eye and tell them what we were doing. 25,000 people showed up and I looked them in the eye and I immediately broke out into a cold sweat. When I got off, we were surrounded by a crowd that was in the round and people were screaming and yelling and hands were coming from everywhere and I grabbed my assistant by the lapels and I pulled him in close and I screamed in his ear and I said, I don't know how, but we're wrong. He pushed me back and said, <laughs> I knew we were supposed to come here. So I went back to the drawing board. And over the holidays, I painted the faith, hope, and charity. Those three icons. I, I brought them back to the television studio. And I said, this is our direction next year. And they looked at me and said, what? And I said, I can't explain it either. I don't understand it, but this is where we're going. It was about four months ago that we were still kind of lost. And we didn't know what we were going to do when we got here. And I was down on my knees, and we were in the office. And I said, Lord, I think I'm one of your dumber children. Speak slowly. <laughs> And the answer was, you have all the pieces, just put them together. Yeah. And looking for those things inside each of us. So we have plenty of medals, plenty of medals for our heroes. They do things that none of us want to do. But when I found the original story of the Purple Heart, the badge of merit, our troops, our troops take bullets in our name. They do things for us in our name, and we give them the Purple Heart. But the original intent on the Purple Heart from George Washington, it was called the badge of merit. It was the first merit badge, and it was given to any soldier that had done something of merit, and had done something of honor, because George Washington knew to be able to defeat the most powerful Navy and Army on Earth, he had to have farmers and shopkeepers of honor and merit. There were three given out that we know of. They were lost until 1933 when they were rediscovered. And FDR took those and designed the medal around it to be for being wounded in action. I would like to humbly ask that maybe as civilians we go back to that original intent. And for civilians, we begin to look for merit in one another. We begin to look for honor. People who have done the tough things and stood against the tide because it was right. Today, we begin to award the new badge of merit. Restoring honor. Today, we will award three medals to civilians who have done the right thing throughout their life and touched the lives of other people. So our children can be regular people, making tough decisions, and living their life the right way. To restore America, we must not only restore honor, but in doing so, we'll restore heroes. Our children need people to look up to. Well, those people are not children.
giants like that. They are giants everywhere. They are us as individuals. So today, we will begin. Faith, hope, and charity. Our first medal for faith. It's a knowing and believing in something when all the circumstances surrounding you would indicate otherwise. 